With a silver mark of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. And veins through the mist and ancient trees runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara, and the king, yes, the king. harmony of the high country is often threatened by human intruders. And trappers cause more trouble than most, as Mopoke and Karawong found out. But luckily for the two unlikely cellmates, strange things happen everywhere. And the high country is no exception. Mopoke and Karawong were rescued from the trapper's cage by the same man who had been Thaura's greatest enemy and who had been determined to capture him. Mopo, who was blessed with manners and gratitude, unlike Karawan, took to keeping an eye on the man as a way of thanking him for his kindness. <laughs> I'm glad you come and see us. I really like your stories. And I like your cocoa, <laughs> but mostly your company. Tell us another story. Well, I don't know if it's really a story, but a strange thing happened today. I think that ghost horse is haunting me. Ooh. I was chasing after a chestnut. I would have got him too. He was slow and a bit thick and nowhere near the cunning the silver brumber used to have. And I was just about on him when another horse with a silver mane appears from nowhere, gallops alongside the chestnut, and they led me into the bush. Did you catch him? The chestnut? Oh, no. The darndest thing happened. I came across these birds, a mopoke and a currawong, caught in a trapper's cage. It's like the ghost horse had led me to them. What did you do? Well, I let them go, of course. Oh, they make me real mad, these trappers. Oh, I know I catch brumbies, but after a fair chase and a matching of wits, nature against nature. And I lose more than I win. But these trappers... Oh, don't talk to me about them. Greedy city folk who don't give a damn about the high country or its creatures. Yeah. Oh, more cocoa. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Oh no, it's the trappers. Let's see what they want. See if we can be of any help. What? But Grandad. <laughs> he threatened us with a shotgun last time. He won't give us the time of day. He won't recognize us. Anyway, we're lost. Oh, good day, mate. Good day. Bit lost. We're bird watchers. Can't seem to find the track down to the Cascades. I hear there's some pretty good wildlife down there. So I've heard. Bit tricky to find that path. 
Just keep going along the creek, you'll see an old track, turn left, and that should point you in the right direction. Much obliged. <sighs> that isn't the way, Grandad. Yeah, isn't it? And here I've gone and given those nice bird watchers the wrong directions. Bird watchers. What do they take me for? I know those two rotten trappers anywhere. Dingoes last year, birds this world. I just saved them a lot of trouble, Charlie, and sent them on their way home. <laughs> <laughs> Do this, Karawang, do that, Karawang, lick my hooves, Karawang, ah, forget it. If you think your traitorous tempestuousness that you can leave me stuck in a cage and laugh at me after all I've done for... What? Oh, what kind of a creature is this? I'd slow down if I were you, mate. Just what I need. Backseat driver. I can see where I'm going without your help, mate. Thanks. <gasps> Blimey, that was a close call. I can see where I'm going without your help. Huh. I better do the driving, mate. Ah, oh, pipe down. Anyone can make an honest mistake. I'll just back up and we'll be as right as rain. Hmm, fascinating. Animal, mineral or vegetable? Hmm, what's in here, I wonder? <laughs> well, definitely not friendly, whatever it is. Must be stopped. You must have misheard him. I didn't mishear him. We should have just asked for the route to the Cascades, not the direction. Well, just cut across country and we'll see if we can find a track. What do you think I'm doing? <sighs> uh oh. It's heading for my master's territory, where the herd is grazing. Definitely, uh oh. Master! Master! Never seen anything like it, Mew. Oh, never. It is the colour of the sky, though. The colour of the sky is definitely what it is. And it's racing towards us. Racing towards us and about to hit us. What do you think we should do? Get, Get out, out of the way! And then this blue monster spat black smoke all over me. And then came screaming at me like a banshee. Stop digging your claws into my back. Ooh, whoops, sorry, mighty one. It's nervous tension, you see. Anyway, this huge blue monster... How big? Oh, huge. How big? Huge! <laughs> <laughs> You're a very stupid creature, Karawong. Of all the far-fetched stories you've told, this is the most ridiculous I've ever... What? It's dared to violate the mighty Brulga's territory. <laughs> See what I tell you. <laughs> Go get him, flying battle. Look at him go! Hey! Brave Herculean Horsefulness, you can do it! <laughs> That's it, El Supremo! You've done it! Hooray! Last time my jeep went up in flames, now we get attacked by a crazy horse. Never should have brung the ute. Well, what'll we do now? Prefer pack horse, would you? And several weeks' journey through this hellhole country? Well, it might have been easier. This ute wasn't built for cross-country. Yeah, well, 
We're here now, and we're still going to find the Cascades. Let's just take it slowly and look for a track down. Hey, look what's coming. Oh, it's just a dopey old wombat. Nothing to get excited about. Out of the way. Out of the way, whatever you are. <laughs> typical, typical. I bet you had something to do with our burrow being swamped. Now go on, clear off. <laughs> Out of the way. Out of the way. Looks as though that dopey lump of blubber ain't gonna move. Yeah, well, <laughs> just start her up and edge forward, then we'll see it move. Good idea. <laughs> How do you like that? Where's that flaming gun of mine? Damn! Got away! My, how very surprising. Oh, yeah? Well, at least I got rid of it. More than you managed to do. No point in bickering, mate. Yeah? Well, what now, genius? Ah, oh, sort of a bad spot for a camp right here. There's a stream over there, ideal place to pitch the tent. We can set some traps, change the wheel, and move the ute next to the stream. Blue like the sky. And then it nearly knocked us over, quite out of control. Totally out of control. Quite a mystery, and it tried to run us over. Oh, no consideration at all. Not even a warning. Whoosh, bang, jump by. Blue and big and fast. Oh, fast, very fast. Got me beat. Any ideas, Benny? Hmm, was it carrying any humans? Humans? Did you see any humans, Mew? Oh, humans? Um, uh, uh, oh, yes, -y, I do believe I did. Aha, uh -huh, now we're getting somewhere. And were these humans inside the blue thing? Uh, yes, I think so. Oh, uh, yes, -y, I believe they were. That's right. And there were round black things underneath. Round things underneath. Hmm. Yep, without a shadow of a doubt. Yep, the only shadow was underneath. Blue with round black things underneath. You got it. That's right. Hmm. Sounds as though we'd better check it out. Those men are the trappers who caught Mopoke and Currawong. Mopoke and Currawong escaped, but other animals might not be so lucky. If only there was some way we could make these trappers leave the high country forever. Mopoke! Mopoke! Oh, hi, Mopoke. We're just trying to figure out what to do about these intruders before they catch more animals. We'll start another bushfire. There are only two trappers and many of us. Perhaps for them we could make a fuss. Oh, I see what you mean. And you're right, as usual, Mopoke. Looks like we've got to organise the high country creatures so that they can defend themselves. It's always best to avoid a fight, but if the cause is just, it might be all right. <laughs> ah, yeah. There's nothing quite like a nice cup of tea. <laughs> You and your cups of tea. The last time you said that, you left the fire unattended and nearly cooked us alive. <laughs> and you burnt out half the high country. And that jeep of yours burnt to a what crisp. What do you mean I left the fire unattended? Just because it was my idea to have a cuppa doesn't make it my fault that you left the fire unattended. Hey, hang on a minute. If I remember correctly, it was you who lit the fire. No, I collected the kindling. Then you lit it while I filled the billy at the river, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, you filled the billy all right while I collected the kindling. Then you lit the fire while I washed out the mugs by the stream. Nah. I saw you washing the muds while I got the tea from the back of the jeep. Then you came back and lit the fire while I got the sugar from the tent. No doubt about it. Hey, before, you reckon that I lit it while you filled the billy. Now you're saying I lit it while you got the sugar. Make up your mind, mate. That's cos you took so long. I had time to get the sugar and fill the billy. You don't exactly move with the speed of lightning, mate. Oh, what rubbish? It was me who got the sugar while you lit the tea. No, nah, it was the sugar I lit, mate, while you emptied the river into the tea. Hey, you get the feeling we've been watched? Nah, 
Everything looks fine to me. Anyway, I reckon it's time we turn in. And this time, we'll make sure that my new ute doesn't get burnt to a crisp. enjoying the chance to get his own back on his captors. Everybody's moving into position. They all know what to do? I instructed them myself. Then everything will be perfect. I'll let Wombat know. Ah, let's see now. Are those trappers still hanging around making a pest of themselves? Hey, what's this? Not only have those intruders not left the mighty Brolkers territory, but they've dared to set up camp as well. This warrants further investigation. Hey, what's this? The pesky Thaura, also invading the Brolgas territory, is nothing sacred! Hey, and what's this? Wombats! Hey, and, and, and who's that over there? Ding! Hey! What's going on? And I'm the one doing the watching, yet I feel as though I'm being watched! Ah! What? what was that? How dare you defile my mouth? Oh, forgive me, oh sumptuous and saliverous one. Do that again, I'll feed your feathers to the fish. But, 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 mighty Brolga invaders into your territory. I've already given that, that, that blue contraption a thorough hiding. That'll do. But, sire, trappers, wombats, emus, dingoes, snakes, and, and, Thaura. <sighs> Are you saying that weak-kneed, soft-brained, pathetic excuse for a Brumby that avoids fighting me at all costs would dare invade my territory? But I saw him with my own two eyes. Oh, uh, along with trappers, wombats, emus, dingoes and snakes. Cross my heart, sire, and hope to die. Uh, I don't know whether to believe you, Currawong. Well, you didn't believe me about the blue thing, mighty monster masher. Uh... Very well, then. Lead the way. But if you're lying... No fear, sire. Karawong's word is his bond. <laughs> the hour has come, Thaura. All set? All set, Benny. <laughs> My country creatures, one and all, wreak your havoc, have a ball! Boop, 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 boop. Hey, what? Oh, Blimey, what's that? Oh, uh, so sounds like a flock of white and banshees. All right, Wombats, move in for mischief. <laughs> Hey, is that your foot moving around under the blanket? Hey, what would be foot be doing near me head? Well, I'll tell you, there's something there. Oh, it's probably that gun of yours. Where are those gang gangs? They should be here by now. That's no gun, it's moving, I'll tell you. Here they are, Benny. Right on time, as you arranged. Hey, I just felt it. 
That's slippery. Uh, it's a flaming snake! Uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, help! Hey! Uh, uh, hey! Uh, hey! Uh, hey! What? Look! The ute! This way, magnificent maestro. They're just up here. You had the courage to jump, but the blue beast didn't. <laughs> oh no, me ute, me beautiful ute. Oh, don't complain. At least it didn't go over. <laughs> Get the radiator repaired and she'll be as good as new. Thanks, everyone. I think that's the last we'll see of those two. Hooray! Yeah! <laughs> All they came for was to trap and shoot. Now back to the city they must scoot. <laughs> Quite right, Mopo. Well done, everyone. Jolly good. And time to go back to our homes and a bit of peace and quiet. Hooray! Stow the crows. Look who's coming. What happened, boys? Where's that fancy ute of yours and your gear? Oh, don't ask. Where's the nearest mechanic? We want to get out of here. But you've hardly had time to take in the beauty of the high country. A lot to see and do, you know. Some other time, maybe. No other time. Just point us in the right direction and we're out of here forever. Oh, well, if you must, I suppose you must. Sorry the bird watching didn't work out. Now, Best way'd be over the shallows of the creek and then stick to the line of trees. That'll take you down to the gravel road. Probably hit you right there. There's a mechanic in the next town. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I wonder what happened to them. <laughs> Who knows? Couldn't care less they've gone. And for good. Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. So the creatures of the high country once again managed to rid themselves of the trappers. But unfortunately, the trappers still had yet another bad mark to make on the lives of our friends.
With the trappers being forced by the high country creatures to beat a hasty retreat, it would not be long before the mountains would seem free once again. Free of worry, free of care, free of danger. The creatures would soon be able to return to being themselves and enjoying their lives. Especially the youngsters. But even freedom, when care is set aside, can have its dangers. Got anything? Just a few good specs. Not duds like that last one. You wondered where you'd got to. Thought you were supposed to be giving me a hand. Been in the bush, wondering. Seems nice with those trappers gone. Anyway, it'd be better with them gone. I just lose track of time when I'm out there. Yeah, it does that, the bush. Glad it's got into your bones, though, Charlie. You'll never regret having the high country a part of you. Never. Well, you can know it like the back of your hand and still get lost. I'm careful, Grandad. I remember what you've taught me. Anyway, I've made so many friends among the bush creatures. I think they'd see me home all right. Yeah, maybe so. Let's hope we never have to find out. Now, stop talking and give me a hand. We've got to earn our keep. Where are you? Well, come out. There's things to be done. I'm waiting. I'm tired of what... Ow! What's this? Something big and soft. <laughs> oh, what's so funny, ghost horse? You. You're always complaining about us getting in your way. Now you're in ours. Yeah. Out of the way. Out of the way. Orphan foal coming through. <laughs> uh, don't be cheeky, Urella. Have some respect. <laughs> Sorry, Thara. Sorry, Wombat. Well, so you should be. And I'm still looking. What are you looking for, Wombat? Baby Wombat keeps wandering off for long stretches at a time. Usually when there's some work to be done. Well, he's growing up, Wombat. It's only naturally she'd want to get about on his own for a bit. When you were young, you must have... Never did. Baby Wombat, get over here before I... He's wa not here, Wombat. Nowhere around here. What would you know? You're only a foal. I can see, Wombat, and I'm higher up than you are, and he's not here. Yeah? Well, if you're so smart, you find him. I'm going home. <laughs> Can I try and find him, Thara? Can I? Maybe another time, Urella. You're still a bit... Ah, you're great at giving advice. <laughs> Pity you don't take some of your own. All right for my baby wombat to wander off, but not your orphan. Oh, I can do it, Thara. I'll be careful and I won't leave any hoof marks and I won't make any noise. Oh, please, Thara. All right. The baby wombat is probably on his way home right this minute. But you can never have enough practice at tracking. Off you go. Typical, typical. Not far now, and it's good riddance to the high country forever. Danger. I see no danger. Last one to the creek's a rotten egg. Did he say a rotten egg? That's what he said, a rotten egg. You're on! He's not moving, Moray. We need to get help. You keep 
trying to wake him. the escarpment. Blimey! That's the way those trappers were headed. Trappers! Charlie, be careful! <laughs> I'll tell you something, sunshine. If you don't turn up soon, when I catch you, I'll... Eh? Eh? Oh, now what? One of them pesky dingo pups in trouble again. <laughs> Always a crisis. Typical. Typical. No one round when you need them. I suppose poor old Wombat's gonna have to see what the matter is. That'd be right, yeah, that'd be right. <laughs> What happened? It was the monster. The blue monster. <laughs> He's alive. Alive? Oh, awesome. I thought... Yeah, we both thought... He's alive, oh. but he's pretty knocked about. We're going to have to get him back to his family. Any ideas? Uh, no. I don't think so. No. Hmm. Maybe Thara could help. He knows everything. You stay here while I try and find him. Hmm, <laughs> bit grotty. Not up to Karawong's usual standards. But I suppose beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Well, what I wouldn't do for a... Hey, what's this? So, the blue monster's escaping the high country, is it? Well, it's not going to get off that easily. Halt! <laughs> I order you to stop and apologize for all the mischief and mayhem you have caused. The mighty Brolga has bronchitis from the dunking you gave him in the river. Did you hear something, mate? Nope, not a thing. Oh, uh, if I could just scream. And I'm the fastest, and the smartest, and the strongest. And I, and I can leap huge gullies with a single bound. Hey, Yorella, what's the rush? Sorry, Arrow, can't stop. It's an emergency. I've got to find Thara. Thara? Emergency? <sighs> I would have thought by now, Yorella, that you would have realised that I'm the one to see in an emergency. Thara's no good in an emergency. Spends too much time admiring himself in rock pools, that sort of thing. Now, uh, what's the emergency? It's Baby Wombat. He was hit by a blue thing on the road. Oh, dead, hey? Well, that's easily fixed. Just leave him there. No, not dead, but injured. We've got to do something to help him. Hmm. And what was the great Thara going to do? Give him the kiss of life or something? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm sure he'd think of something. Well, I'm sure I can think of something better. But I probably should check on the situation firsthand. So, lead on, my fine young Brumby. I'll follow you. <laughs> As you can see, they can't get along without me. Catch you soon. <sighs> No doubt about it. You were quite right, Yorella. 
baby wombat's been hit. Yes, but what can we do about it? Well, uh, um, I, uh, I could grab him by the tail with my teeth and drag him back to his wombat hole. <laughs> no, Arrow, no. He's been hurt. He needs to be treated with care. I knew I should have found Thaura. What? Now that's just a load of... Oh, no! Hey! Baby Wombat, what happened? A Brumby Hunter! Run for your lives! Ah! Oh, you poor thing. You've been hurt. Good day, boy. Your friend doesn't look too good to me. <laughs> We've got to get him back to my grandfather. He may be able to make him better. I'll we'll just test his weight. Oh, oh. I'm not going to be able to carry him home. He weighs a ton. going to have to think of something else. Any suggestions, boy? No? What about you, pups? Hmm, this requires some thought. Oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> Typical, typical. You try to find a dingo pup in trouble and the stupid whippersnapper stops howling before a wombat can find where he is. Can't find where baby wombat is either. Not a particularly good day. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Oh, what do you expect? There's always someone who's prepared to laugh at another's misfortune. But at least those pesky trappers are nowhere in sight. Now it's safe to fly across it. <laughs> what kind of tree is this? Not a leaf in sight. Uh, I get it. These aren't trees. Something man-made, in fact. Another intrusion into the high country. Shocking, simply shocking. <laughs> outrage! Outrage! Man-made lightning bolts! Outrage! <laughs> going on over there. Oh, what a wait. <laughs> steady, boy, steady. I know you're not used to it, but it'll be all right. Now, with a bit of luck, I'll be able to walk Baby Wombat home. See if we can do it. Come on, boy, let's go. What in the name of blundering Brumbies is going on? That's it. Good boy, good. That's the way. That's the way. Now I've seen everything. Hey, look over there. The old jetty, my favourite fishing spot. Got to see the sign, mate. Says no fishing. I've been fishing here since I was a kid. Takes more than some dopey new sign to stop me. <laughs> oh, let's get over there. Mm. Oh, I can't see a damn thing. No dingo pups, no baby wombat. Wouldn't like what you saw anyway, even if you could see. Hey, see what? What? What, 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 what? Your son, on the back of the orphan foal, kidnapped by a man. One of the little ones. Kidnapped? Another trapper? Could be. Didn't get close enough to find out. Killers, all of them. Ran me over, in fact. I'm going north for a rest. You sort it out. Sort it out? What's going on? Kidnapped? Hey, hey, you come back, Carolong. Hey, hey, come back here. <laughs> 
That'll give the old sour for something to think about. <laughs> An injured wombat riding a horse. Oh, what a fight! Hey, now what's this? Not more noise to disturb my bliss. Uh, g'day, Mopoke. Uh, you haven't seen a rather nice-looking filly about, have you? Kind of nice colour, big brown eyes. Now her I have not seen, but a wombat riding a horse this way has been. A wombat riding a... <laughs> well, now I've heard everything, Mopoke. What kind of berries have you been eating? If you care to proceed with stealth, you'll be able to see for yourself. No, oh, I've got more important things to do than listen to this rubbish. See you later, Mopoke. It's just as well Arrow should go. But I better find Thaura. He should know. That wasn't right. That definitely wasn't right. I don't think that man thing is supposed to be walking with our friends. I'm sure Baby Wombat is not supposed to be riding on Urella's back. Perhaps Wombat said it was all right. Do you think so? Oh, I don't think so. Perhaps we should tell him. Perhaps we should. You see, it's just the way I said. The baby's hurt, but at least not dead. It's just that... Well, it's just that it's not right. Well, I never. Who'd have believed it? Hard to believe, I must agree. Quite a surprise, even for me. Oh, sorry for not believing you, Mopoke. Let's keep them company for the rest of the journey. Good idea. Now I've seen everything. Ooh, baby wombat injured. We'll look after him. That's a relief. Now baby wombat's in good hands. Wombat, are we glad we bumped into you? Oh, we just saw Baby Wombat riding on Urella's back, believe it or not. Well, lying, actually. Oh, yes, lying, precisely. Lying on the foal's back, and we said... No, 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 cut your cackling. I know this already. Oh, you do? You do? I do. Didn't you hear me? You got feathers stuck in your ears as well. Mm. What I don't know, you prattling nincompoops, is where he is. Oh, he never asked that, did he, Mew? Oh, certainly not. Not that. If he had, we would have said the old prospector's hut, wouldn't we? Oh, we would. Well, why didn't you? Now, out of me way. <laughs> oh, uh, emus, emus, you haven't, um, uh, seen any sign of a nice young filly, have you? Big brown eyes? Uh, nope. I guess, uh, well, I'll just keep looking. There, there, I won't hurt you. Just got to find out what's wrong and where. <laughs> Sorry, fella. All done. Yeah. Bit of shock, I reckon. Saw leg and a sore head. Pretty lucky, really. But he's growing up now and they're tough as rocks, these wombats. Whatever collides with them often gets more damage than they do. So he'll be all right? Ah, fine. We'll just let him rest up and feed him for a while, then send him back into the bush. There you are, boy. Did you hear that? Your friend's going to be better soon, thanks to you and the dingoes. <laughs> Speaking of which, this foal's friends appear to be waiting for him. Come on, fella. Off you go. He's all right, Wombat, and he's in good hands. The old prospector helped one of my children back to health once. He's a good man, Wombat, and his grandson takes after him. You've no cause to worry. 
No, oh, well, worrying's what I do best. <laughs> we know that one. Hi, everyone. You were very brave, Urella. Wasn't he, Wombat? Oh, I suppose so. And full of trust to let the boy get so close to you. Ah, oh, he saved my life, Benny. I can trust him. And you saved baby Wombats. I suppose you'll be wanting to thank Urella, Wombat. Wombat? Hey, Wombat! What? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, he did quite a good job for a Brumby, I suppose. Oh, thank you, Wombat. But it's good to help friends. No, I can't hang around here chatting all day. I've got to get home and tell Mrs Wombat that there'll be one less for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> You've been fishing here since you were a kid, eh, mate? Well, we've been here an hour and not so much as a nibble. Oh, patience is a virtue, mate. That's what fishing's all about. Patience? Oh, it's pretty hard to be patient, mate. Have, have you noticed the way this jetty trembles every now and again? That's as solid as a rock, this jetty. I told you I've been here since I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! 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 Not me, you! Me, you! Me beautiful, you! This is the last time I go fishing with you, mate. So Baby Wombat was in very good hands as he settled back to enjoy a few weeks of being spoilt as he waited to recover from his accident. And there was another treat in store organised by his father. But it wouldn't turn out quite as it had been planned. 